Hi, my name is Leia Hechtman. I'm a herbalist and naturopath and the proud president of the National Herbalist Association of Australia. I'm extremely passionate about helping people in their fertility and helping improve the quality of the next generation. It's where I focus in my clinical practice. I'm also incredibly passionate about education, so I've gone and completed my Masters in Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility at Sydney University and I'm about to start my PhD next year. The reason behind that is that I think that whilst all alternative medicines and complementary medicines have a place, I think it's also important to keep pushing the industry forward, to keep improving my knowledge base and certainly to challenge my theories of health and improvement of health. So for that I'll always keep studying and I'm happy with that. In my practice I feel very fortunate and very privileged to be able to work with couples on a daily basis so that they can either conceive if they've been having difficulty or to improve the quality of their children and their own health in the process. What I've learnt over the years is that parenting becomes a conscious parenting decision and they consciously choose to both work on their relationship together emotionally, they choose to work on their own health individually and in the process they become the parents that they really want to be. They become the parents that they want to choose to be before they actually conceive their child. I often think that it's almost fortunate for some people that they have hurdling blocks of infertility because it enables them to look at their lives and to really become those people that they want to be as parents before they start their full parenting journey. From an environmental, a nutritional and a physiological perspective, I see people have all sorts of unfortunate conditions. Some people may experience repeated miscarriage, some people may have semen irregularities or sperm abnormalities, some people may experience endometriosis. The diseases are very wide and varied and in some situations incredibly unfortunate and painful. And I feel um, and enormously humbled and privileged to be able to work with these individuals because at the end of it they're able to understand their bodies in a whole new light and they're actually able to understand perhaps at sometimes why there has been some delay to their conception. As of, as of you know, uh, this week, let's say, I'm fortunate to know that there are only a handful of people that I haven't been able to help. Of course, there are some where they'll have a physical impediment and it's unfortunate that their journey can't be assisted. But you know, when you can combine the treatments that I do and the mainstream technologies and the advancements in technology, I've been able to assist couples that have used donor embryos, donor sperm, donor eggs, um, all sorts of wonderful, phenomenal inventions and scientific advances, which is really incredibly rewarding. And at the end of it, they're able to be parents, and that's what they want to be. The beautiful thing that I've seen, though, is that you can, especially when I get to work with couples with multiple children, you can see the improvements in the quality of health in their children in subsequent generations. Some children that I've been working with now, you can see how it influences the type of child that's actually brought into this world, and that's amazing for me. It's just completely heart-opening, and I really, really feel rewarded by that. In addition to that, um, I also, a lot of my practice is about helping people with mental health disorders. And I do think that there are two key areas that you can literally help someone change their life. Helping them experience new life and conceive new life is certainly rewarding, but someone that's been locked in the cage of mental health and helping them unlock that and rediscover who they really are and, you know, continue their path and what they want to achieve in this life is, is there's nothing quite like it. So I work with people with depression or anxiety, schizophrenia, bipolar disease and psychotic behaviour as well. And I have one patient at the moment um, who I've been working with for a couple of years and you know we're talking about from being institutionalised in a hospital to being completely drugged out and medicated to having a full life now. She has a relationship, she has a job, she lives with her partner and her life is, is there and it's open for her. So I guess the, the continuing thread in what I do is that I like to help people find their lives again, to be able to achieve what they want to achieve, and I think that's my calling. So if you have any further um, inquiries or you'd like some more information, I do have a, a very comprehensive website, so you're most welcome to have a look, and the website is naturalhealthfertility.com. Thank you.